let us see this question in this question this is also old gate question only in this question means many publications has given very lengthy solutions which is not required in a single step we can get the solution and like you know at starting you will not understand okay but still let me go that way only and at the, after that like you know i will explain to you then automatically you will understand okay now in this question what is the power absorbed here 4 kilowatt at a power factor of 0.89 lagging these are the two keywords okay now see here if for example if it is absorbing some power and some reactive power reactive power who has to supply that this particular source only has to supply okay now how much is the active and reactive power component active power component is going to be 4 kilowatt plus reactive power component is going to be j 4004 kilowatt divided by 0.89 because vi cos pi is going to be 4 kilowatt so vi cos pi by cos pi will give you vi and into sine of cos inverse of 0.89 will be the reactive power q okay now this reactive power who has to supply this reactive power if i don't have this source only has to supply that much amount of reactive power but see here the value of reactance x to improve the input power factor to unity means that here he want to maintain unity power factor means that means here my source should not deliver reactive power okay but it need reactive power who has to supply that reactive power this only has to supply okay now what is reactive power supplied by this is going to be for example you have to power absorbed by resistance v square by r because voltage is given here this is 110 volts 2 is to 1 so this is going to be 220 volts don't think about the dots and all okay just to like you know uh, disturb you like you know just to confuse you they have given the dots dots doesn't matter here so here if voltage is 110 volts so here voltage will be 220 volts now for example if it is a resistor what is the power absorbed by resistor once voltage is given v square by r Similarly, what about the reactive power here? Reactive power also is going to be V square by X. Okay. Now V square by X should be of this much. This much. Such that it will supply reactive power. My source need not supply the reactive power. Means that what is this? Like you know, V square by X. 220 square by X is going to be reactive power supplied. Equal to 4000 divided by 0.89 into sine of cos inverse of 0.89 okay now x value just 220 square divided by this whole is going to be x value you can find okay now point here is why they have given this question most of the guys may not understand this properly okay now for example this is the transmission line this is the transmission line okay so at the far end of the transmission line if i have a resistance load and here let me have alternator alternator okay so then what will happen definitely my resistance of transmission line will be there okay so through this resistance when current is flowing automatically it will create transmission losses transmission losses will be created okay now anyway like you know this particular guy is absorbing active power so that active power is nothing but real power okay actual power so that actual power can be supplied by only alternator okay so this guy is absorbing and this guy is delivering active power and this guy business is rolling out because he is selling his power now for example if i connect here one more inductance one more inductance then means inductance will not absorb any power the average power absorbed by inductance is going to be zero okay so my inductor will absorb power store it and give it back it will absorb the power store it and give the back so what is the net amount of power absorbed active power absorbed or delivered by this is going to be zero okay but still is it increasing the transmission line current or not for example let me draw the phasor diagram in phasor diagram for example this is v okay so this current flowing through this is resistance ir current flowing through this is going to be il okay now if i take voltage here 
okay now voltage and current should be in line in resistance so my current is going to be ir here in line now what about the inductance in inductance current should lag voltage by 90 degrees so my inductance current will be like this okay now what is the transmission line current transmission line current now my transmission line current is going to be ir plus il okay so ir plus il is going to give you i transmission okay now my length of the current compared to here my length of the current is increased or not yes so because of existence of this here means he is neither absorbing active power or nor uh, delivering but here my transmission line losses are getting increased okay so how to reduce transmission line losses means that magnitude of current should be reduced okay so the actual power v i r means this particular actual power absorbed by the load should be delivered by generator only generator only there is no other go for it but this reactive power can be compensated means that for example if i connect one capacitor here <coughs> capacitor here then means my capacitor current ic should lead voltage by 90 degrees so for example if ic is like this now how much will be the transmission line current for example ir plus il plus ic is going to be transmission line current okay now ir plus il plus ic see here ir plus il plus ic means that for example if il magnitude equal to ic magnitude ic magnitude under that condition what will happen ir plus il plus ic is going to be i transmission line only okay so actually capacitor neither absorb not deliver power inductor neither absorb not deliver any actual power but only resistors will absorb and my alternator will be there in order to deliver that much amount of reactive power but what about reactive power basically reactive power is not a power okay now for example if you see here in inductance inductance is neither absorbing nor delivering but presence of inductor inductance here is creating increment in transmission line losses okay so basically reactive power is not a power okay but why we are considering because here reactive power doesn't matter but connected system transmission line losses will be increased okay and the moment current is increased for example only resistance is there inductance is there what is length of current is more now though magnitude of current is more what about the active power v i cos theta is going to be v into ir only so even though because of these two because of presence of inductance because of these two length of transmission line current phasor is increasing but active power will be same so he is rolling out his business he is selling his power it is it is only absorbing power it is neither absorbing nor delivering but it is increasing transmission line magnitude of current if magnitude of current is increased it means that area of cross section of acsr conductor has to be increased now if i can compensate by using some capacitance what does it mean if i can compensate exactly this inductance uh, current exactly by capacitor then my length of transmission line current phasor is getting reduced because of that the moment a transmission line magnitude of current is reduced means that means first thing is advantage transmission line losses will be reduced and second thing is area of cross section of acsr conductor will be reduced now let us connect this to here okay if you see here let us come back it is absorbing both active and reactive power means that it is having resistance and inductance parts because it is operating at 0 0.9 0 0.89 lagging okay now if you observe okay if i can keep capacitance here okay let us think of this as transmission line okay so let us think of this as transmission line now for example if i don't have capacitor if i don't have capacitor length of current will be more length of current length of phasor of current or magnitude of current will be more because of the transmission line losses will be more now if i can compensate that particular current that particular uh, what is inductive related current by keeping uh, capacitor length of magnitude of current in the phasor or magnitude of current will be reduced in the transmission line such that here losses can be reduced now here it is absorbing some amount of reactive power okay that reactive power has to be supplied by capacitor like this only means it is it is absorbing reactive power or it is increasing length of the transmission line current and it is being compensated with it 
okay so similarly here also let me keep capacity here such that it will compensate the inductive effects of this getting my point right so point here is very simple what is that like you know inductance is there capacity sorry inductance is there resistance is there how much capacity should be connected now it is absorbing secondary is absorbing some active power who has to supply that primary it is absorbing some reactive power who has to supply that primary but it has to supply is fine reactive power but for my transmission line losses should be less okay so that way he is trying to compensate now let us conclude like you know whatever we discussed previously now if this capacitance can give some reactive power which is exactly equal to requirement of this then what will happen it will operate at unity power factor unity power factor in the sense for example come back to here unity power factor in the sense least magnitude of current okay for the same act to power if it is lagging length of current is more if it is still lagging length of current is more if it is leading length of current will be more okay so here i'm trying to compensate it by capacitor now what is the reactive power here v square by x should be equal to reactive power requirement of this just simply calculate this it will be sufficient done